gonna be like a mini rant i'm gonna vlog and rant at the same time because i can do both <laughs> so i'm coming to you guys looking crusty like i'm pretty sure i look a mess but that's fine you guys are used to it at this point you guys are used to it and i love that nobody ever comments and tells me that i look terrible which is great i love you guys for it um yeah today is saturday and we're deep knee deep in the middle of exam season it's as stressful as you think it is i think the last week the last week i like it was insane it got to a point where it hurt physically not to sleep like it started hurting like i started having i guess it's like a psychosomatic disorder the, the mix of not sleeping and also you know not only are you not sleeping but your brain has to be 100 percent efficiency because you're using it to its max ah exams guys um i'm gonna actually rant separately like probably at the end of the day or something i'm gonna make like a full deep body rant because i have to a lot to complain about and you guys are gonna listen to me complain hopefully <laughs> um yeah but i actually had an idea i'm just gonna shoot um i'm just gonna film my room my room tour like a very mini room tour i know i've never done it i've always wanted to do a room tour but my living circumstances didn't allow for it number one i was scared of filming a room tour because of security reasons like where i live you know it's very obvious i live next to unilas i don't live on campus that means i live around that area um very scary for me to think that somebody might maybe piece together like where i'm staying they just show up outside my door especially after we almost got robbed the other week when was that like last month yeah that really scared me and um i was very hesitant on just shooting and also i had to consider my roommate because i did have a roommate she is gone now she has moved out she's done with her exams um you guys have seen her in my videos it's michelle yes <laughs> yeah but um yeah for those reasons i didn't want to really like do this video but those those reasons have been eliminated so i'm gonna show you guys just a mini room tour very small um brief and kind of explain why i don't live on campus which once again um i'm gonna give my two cents on whether you should even bother living on campus when you should not live on campus this video is gonna be a lot this video is gonna be a lot of me talking and ranting um it's saturday i should be studying um <laughs> i will be studying but i just wanted to start off with that so without further ado let's get into the tour of the room let's tour the room okay so i'm going to start by explaining how we divided up the room so um this room is actually pretty big i don't know if it's showing on camera but it is actually quite huge um so that was my corner and then michelle would be there close to the fan that was her closet and um that's my closet we're not gonna open that because it's just it's just so terrible but it's a very big closet but we're not gonna open it up it's just a terrible situation so on my corner i have so many motivational quotes um you know for example procrastination is the thief of time never do tomorrow what you can do today uh this too shall pass these are the little quotes they were actually way more they just fell off and i just didn't have the strength or the resilience or eh, the willpower to just uh pick them up again uh don't wish for it work for it you know Am I working hard? Maintain your march. Uh, yeah, so those are my little <laughs> motivational quotes that just fell off. And yeah, this was my section of the room. And then when you turn the room like this, this is how it looked. Um, and because we live in Lusaka, oh, and that's like, yeah, yeah. Okay. People complained a lot about my dorm tour, saying that it was terrible. So I want to make sure that I do this properly. Do you see? Okay. So this bathroom situation is actually very interesting. And it is the source of so many questions um, from people whenever they come to visit us. They have a lot of questions, obviously. Because when before we moved here, this place was actually not done at all. Like, they're in the process of building it and we were promised that we're going to have... A wall they said they're gonna put a glass wall here uh, which is another thing for you guys who are international students like everything that a landlord in Zambia tells you take with a grain of salt like for real like for real take so, it. this is the uh, let me just move this so you can see 
this is our fancy wall that was gonna be a glass lighting wall <laughs> Michelle and I laugh about it all the time because we're like wow we really saw dreams but anyways that's the bathroom um, that's the toilet and then that is obviously the sink and this is where you guys see me in my vlogs hi <laughs> So yeah, from here you can see the full layout of our room uh, and we lived in harmony with Michelle, like it was a very peaceful existence and that is, I can show you Michelle's closet because there's nothing inside Guys, I can't show you my closet, it's just so embarrassing, like it's just too embarrassing, um, I'm not gonna do it Some of my family members watch my videos and they're just gonna be so shocked and disappointed so yeah that's the whole room that's the room so that was my room tour one thing that i was saying is if you do decide not to live on campus and a lot, a lot of you guys are international students like please ignore that somebody is fetching water outside which is just ah, zambia okay <laughs> somebody's fetching water outside but anyways um how do you want to say yeah, um, if you decide you don't want to live on campus, just be, you know. I know some of you, for example, if you come from a country like uh, Botswana or Namibia, in Botswana, if they say they're going to do something, honestly, they do it. But here, mm, like when I moved into this place, it was not yet done, like at all. Like at all, like at all. It wasn't done. Like they didn't have a ceiling, they didn't have floors, but they convinced me that they're going to be done in a week. Okay. Um, and a lot of things like we didn't have a closet. I don't know if you guys watch one of my videos like um, The video where I give you guys a uh, when I, when I tell you what it's like um, Living in Lusaka. There was no closet there Because <laughs> they promised us that we we're gonna have a closet, but we didn't have a closet um, Yeah, and it took a like Please if you if you don't live, if you live in Zambia, you know ah, if you live in Zambia, if you, live in, if you live in Lusaka, you know these things. This is nothing to you you know this but if you don't come from here you're gonna be quite shocked how uh people like to expand the truth and if they say they're gonna be done fixing something they're not gonna be done so yeah as to why i don't live on campus i wanted to live on campus so bad i wanted to live on campus so bad when i first came here once again again you see like the theme continues the school told us they were gonna be done with silver rest our campus soon um they're like we're just gonna we just need six months we're gonna be done building the hostels and i was like okay so i lived in a boarding house because i didn't have a choice at the time and in my mind i was like just six more months and then i'm free um that six months became two years they just finished campus this semester which uh, <sighs> okay so yeah they just finished fixing up campus now but it's too late because next year i'm going for clinicals fingers crossed i'm going for clinicals and when i go for clinicals i have to live next to the hospital where i'm going to be doing clinicals i want there's no way i can live on campus and be able to make it for 6 a.m um morning clinical rotation or if you know they finish at 22 I, there's no way i can make it back here so it's more efficient and it makes more sense for me to stay that side so i never actually got to live on campus but if i could live on campus honestly i would have lived on campus i would say that because boarding houses i have lived in a lot of boarding houses let's just start there okay and you are at the mercy of choice and luck like it's not up to you who you live with it's not up to you you know the people who are there you just show up and um you just have to cross your fingers that you're gonna live with normal people because people do get crazy i'm not gonna lie to you like i have met some crazy people like some like and everyone has a different background people are coming from so many different places if my face is terrible like i really apologize for your eyes <laughs> but yeah people come from so many different backgrounds there's people from you know very conservative backgrounds who don't understand like the smallest things are shocking to them and <laughs> you know when you're living in a boarding house you do have to consider that even if you are gonna have your own room um you still have to consider the fact that you still have to live with other people in the house and share a space with them and you really don't know where you're sharing a space with and then there's the second option of just renting a house like you can just get your own place like you don't have to deal with a, a boarding house and a, like you can just have your own place um 
which the freedom in that must be amazing that's what i'm gonna do next semester but i would imagine that it can be a bit stressful if you have to pay for your own electricity and you have to pay for your own furniture and you have to pay for um, all these other things but i think the freedom that comes with that and the peace of mind must be incredible and obviously there's living on campus which i i recommend nothing beats campus when it comes to safety no place is safer than campus um so if you're really into safety obviously especially if you're young i would advise that if you're like 17 18 live on campus what do you want to do live in a boarding house it's just not worth your your time the stress is just not worth it i promise just live on campus there's a curfew you're safe um you won't get too distracted because i think with boarding houses you can easily get distracted like people people are living crazy lives out here like all these stereotypes you hear about people in boarding houses and you know being linked to certain members of parliament it's true okay it's true it, it comes from truth and if you're easily swayed by other people's lifestyles and you don't have a, a strong sense of who you are yet especially if you're 17 18 you don't know who you are at that age i would say just stay away from it you might find yourself on the front of a newspaper and this just picks this advice you know at the end of the day you have three choices pick one you're gonna live in a boarding house you're gonna rent your own place you're gonna live on campus um but yeah what is this video i'm going to study now i have to study uh i'm still in the middle of exams i'm gonna study i don't know if i'm gonna show you guys me studying because who wants to watch that but yeah I'll see you guys after, like during my break. Who we'll talked during my break? Because I can't keep doing this as if I don't have exams. So we we'll talked during my break. I, will, I have something else to rant about actually. It's a lot of ranting in this video. I've been keeping a lot of things in. Um, so I'm gonna rant to you guys. On my way to purchase some, um, what is it called? unproductive that i just lost all zeal to film um yeah which is bad which is bad like why am i so unproductive on saturdays when i have exams you know i feel like that's something i need to look into because yeah every single saturday since i was like in high school but anyway today i've given myself a realistic goal i'm gonna do physiology and then um yeah tomorrow i have lab science then there's clinical science then there's physiology then there's um imaging on thursday then i'm done with my exam and then i'm going home on friday hopefully fingers crossed i go home on friday because i want to be home i miss my family i miss not having to worry about anything in this life i don't miss the botswana heat 
but I miss the monkeys that come to our balcony and eat the vegetables in my garden <laughs> so yes I'm very homesick I've been homesick for a long time now and yeah so I'm gonna see if I'll show you the rest of my day or we're gonna vlog tomorrow because you know this is a very whimsical vlog that's just happening on the spot like it's not planned but anyways this is bye bye it ends I decided to straighten my hair as well as cut the split ends yeah I'm finally cutting my hair I was originally gonna record this process but I don't feel like it I don't feel like it so I'm just gonna trim my ends because my ends were dead guys they were dead and fried yeah but that's what I'm gonna do today you see I'm currently trimming my ends and then I'll get back to studying around 16 hopefully okay so i'm done this is how much hair look at how much hair this is that's how many split ends i had i had so many split ends and when i go home i'm actually going to um cut it some more like i really want my hair short i want to start again with my hair journey because i have ruined my hair so much it's absolutely crazy like how did i ever get let it get to the point where i have this many split ends this is how it's looking now it's shorter obviously but short hair is nothing compared to unhealthy hair you know health over length all day every day <laughs> but um yeah so what time is it now it's not so For this place um it's like still developing obviously zambia is a developing country so there's this terrible part here oh i have to blur out the baby that's somebody's baby and then there's like pretty houses being built so that's the interesting part about third world countries some parts are really pretty and some parts are yet to be developed like you see there's no road there <laughs> it's a dust road but yeah, I'm, I don't know, I think maybe I'll miss this place, kinda, sorta, I don't know. When I lived in Leopards Hill, I was like, I'll never ever miss Leopards Hill, ever in a million years. And I was there a few 
months ago and I just felt so nostalgic I missed it so much so I probably missed this place let me show you the school there's the school the source of my joy and my pain all in one